I will never come back to Tel Aviv. That was my first thought after I came back from vacation with my twin sister in Israel. And honestly, I'm surprised because I didn't get used to that the cities that I'm visiting making such a big impression on me, but in a bad way. So me and my sister defined seven main reasons why you should never go to Tel Aviv. The first one is men. Men, yes, most of them behave so rudely, so disrespectfully, so whoa, I, I don't know such words in English to describe what I felt. For example, okay, I got used to that wherever I am, which city, whichever city, whichever country, I got used to catch uh, sights from men on myself. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> And I'm okay with that, I'm totally okay with that. But in Tel Aviv, those sites made me feel bad because people, men, not people, men, are not just looking at you, yeah? They're staring at you, they're stuck in it, they're like this, looking at you. I, and literally, you, you can do whatever you want, they can stay five minutes like that. <laughs> can I start? Yeah. Okay. Excuse me, please, but that's not really the way I, I want to feel, you know, while I'm going on the street. That sounds disgusting. And when they start talking, it's even getting worse because they, they talk to you like, eh, psh, psh, woo, psh, whistling like that. Seriously, like so many men tried to start conversation with me in that, with me or my sister in that way. And I was like, seriously, you are doing that to me? Like, or for example, while talking, they just break any kind of personal borders of personal space that you might even have. Uh, they're just coming to you like this and talking to you like nothing. How dare you? For me, that was, I don't know even how to describe it. Luckily, I'm making this video now because back then me and my sister were so pissed and so mad at them that we would speak bad things. I guess so. <laughs> the second reason is service. Service is really not on a high level in Tel Aviv. However, the situation with the tips is the following. So the tips are not um, obligatory. They're not included into the bill, okay? So it's supposed to be that it's up to you if you want to leave tips or you don't want. Hey, so what's with the 20% tip? Did I do something wrong? However, if you decide for some reason that you don't want to leave tips, waiter starts behaving like you... I don't know, like, like you're shit. They're starting literally treating you like shit just because you didn't leave tips. And once we had a situation when I was sitting and I asked the guy, okay, like, can I leave you uh, tips uh, 5%? I want to leave 5%. And he was like, yes, but in Israel, uh, if you like everything, you need to leave 10%. And if you really like everything, you can leave even more. However, for your information, in Spain, people don't usually leave tips at all. So I even forgot about tips. I, I forgot, you know, about this common thing that if we even need to leave tips, but that's okay. So he was talking to me. And I said, okay, I want to leave 5%. And he told me um, that it's kind of disrespectful. It means that something was wrong. And I was like, okay, that's good to know. And he told me, okay, so what was wrong? And, but he was like really trying to manipulate me, you know, like to put me in such a situation that I have to say that yes, everything was good and I have to pay. However, after that conversation, I, I wanted just to... <laughs> I didn't want to pay him tips. I, I paid, after all, I paid my 5%, but the situation was terrible. I, after that situation, I would never personally come back to that restaurant. Another third thing is insects. You have them all over and they're so disgusting. <laughs> so, Chris killed a very bad insect. In Israel, it's like shit ton of that. Yes, and this is a dance, feed dance. Yo, <laughs> the winner. And the 12 points from Israel is awarded to... Greece. Worst thing is that 
almost everything is dirty and old especially okay now i'm talking mostly about the apartments yeah me and my sister in tel aviv changed i think three different apartments uh we were staying both on booking on airbnb and all the time the same situation whichever price you pay we were even joking with my sister that it's curious how much you need to pay in tel aviv to get clean room where you have not old uh, furniture it's probably impossible everything is you know um leaving it le leaving its last moments like if you do any movement extra you might break the bed you might the the table might fall and you can just ruin everything if you breathe too much or something like that whoa <laughs> For, for such a price that they ask for, um, I do believe that they're supposed to provide you with better quality stuff. By the way, the fifth reason is price. It's not a secret that Israel is really expensive, especially Tel Aviv, but whoa, Tel Aviv is one of the most expensive cities I've ever visited in my life. To be honest, the worst thing about all of that is that, okay, it might be, everything might be really expensive, but in this case, the quality of this everything might be on the same level. Not, not might be, it has to be on the same level. But in fact, the quality is somewhere here and the prices are somewhere there. So, unfortunately. The sixth reason is language. It is insane. Nobody speaks English and their language, Hebrew, is super not understandable. You don't even have a chance to, an, an opportunity to read something. Uh, a lot of um, different tables and, and stuff, like names, they're not even translated into English. So you are supposed somehow to understand what's going on in that city. Talking to people who work, for example, in taxi is like a real torture. Me and my sister were really trying to avoid taxis because whenever you talk to taxis, it's like this. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Can we ask a taxi for here? He starts talking Hebrew, something. You have no clue what. So you're listening to him. Then you're asking, okay, we are on that street, that building. Will you come? And they're just hanging up. By the way, is it hanging up? Let me check. <laughs> is it hanging up? I think so. Oh, okay, it is. It's hanging up. So they're hanging up, and you can do whatever you want. You have no clue if this taxist, after all, will come to pick you up, or he will not, or you should call another taxi, or you should go buy food. Nobody knows. <laughs> I don't remember if I said that that was a sixth reason, but now the seventh one and it's everybody tries to screw you up, especially if it's about money. We had a funny situation when the guy, we wanted to prolong our stay in hotel and the guy tried to get more money from me than he was supposed to take and that was really... I felt bad because the guy actually was cool and we were talking in a nice way but he literally tried to to get like 50% more money than he was supposed to take I'm sorry and we decided to stay here one more day I came to the um, guy on the reception to ask like if I can pay and he told me the price which is higher than on booking and I told him like, oh really? Because the, on booking the price is different. Everybody tries to screw us up. And I said to my sister, but they will not do it to us. They, they won't do that because we have me. Because we <laughs> and, have happiness in our life. And I will not allow them to do that. What the fuck? I'll argue with anybody who tries to screw us up. Well, despite of the fact that uh, Tel Aviv has really a lot of drawbacks, there are also good things. For instance, bitch. Bitch. <laughs> bitch. 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 It's Britney, bitch. I hate pronunciation. So the bitch is amazing. Scent is so soft. It was so pleasant to walk there barefoot. And sea is incredible. Water is super hot, like milk, all the time, 24 per 7. And it's so clean and... Oof, I, I, I'm speechless, seriously. This could be a reason to go to Tel Aviv. I mean, if after watching this video, you still feel like going there, then it, you should definitely visit, bitch.
Also, there are a lot of restaurants uh, in Tel Aviv and uh, that is really cool, you know, like you, you can go just anywhere and choose any kind of restaurant you want. And uh, by the way, they have really good coffee, like specialty coffee, big, co I always drink coffees like XXXL and in Spain we don't have that. We actually don't have normal coffee at all in Spain. I'm really suffering and in Israel that was really nice. By the way, speaking of food, uh, they don't really have meat there. A lot of restaurants don't have anything in offer uh, with meat, but they have protein bars <laughs> in each single shop, in each gas station, and I really love it. You know who is the biggest uh, fan of protein bars? <laughs> I bought like a billion of them. <laughs> Favorite? Nougat. Sasha said that it's meat and protein bars. Sure. Protein bars are more important than meat, so it's kind of balanced. Also, in general, you know, Tel Aviv is a capital, so it's a big city with this big city life vibe, and that's something what I personally really love. We were thinking that in Tel Aviv, the big advantage is that wherever you need to go, you need just like 10 15 minutes to come there. Yeah, everywhere. We're like literally. On the one street, all the time, wherever we are. Yeah, just hanging around the same yeah. place. But at the same time, we are visiting all the places which are different and seems to be located in the different parts of the city. Far away. Yeah. But in fact, so close. Yeah. So after all, um, I would tell you that I have super controversial feelings about Tel Aviv. And unfortunately, they go more into the direction of feeling bad. Especially what I told you about men. You can't imagine. I. I felt, me and my sister, we were talking so much about that, we felt really disgusting after having all those... Whoa, I can't describe you. Please, tell me if you one day visited Tel Aviv. Have you also experienced that? Or, or tell me if you haven't never visited Tel Aviv, if you would like to visit Tel Aviv after watching this video. Anyways, let me know. I'm really curious about that. So thank you so much for watching this video. I'm glad that I was able to share these feelings with you. Don't forget to follow my channel to stay tuned. The next video uh, will be about my apartment. I'm gonna show you everything and tell you all the stupid things about Spanish houses. See you soon. Bye.